the government has announced plans to ban the sale of energy drinks containing high levels of sugar and caffeine to under 18s. Now, I, I really like the idea of this. You know, I, I, I'm going to be quite outspoken here. I see them, these high energy drinks with lots of caffeine, lots of sugar, as almost a gateway drug. Because I talk a lot to my teenage daughter about what goes on at a party she goes to. And, you know, when I was a kid and I was started drinking, it was Cinzano and lemonade. What it is now is vodka and... I keep nearly saying the name. I'm not going to say the name <laughs> of the actual drink. And, you know, that, I think, is extremely but it's an dangerous. Drink. An yeah. energy drink. So you're getting that, that big rush. That's only going to last for so long. And it's the I word feel, association. And then you're going to look for something else. Because when I think of the word energy, it gives you energy. I think of that as a good thing. Yeah. But actually, an, the, the energy that... an energy drink gives you yeah. is really just a sugar rush, isn't it? It's well, a combination yeah, it's of caffeine. caffeine and sugar, which is, uh, I think, a highly lethal combination. Mm -hmm. And I would go further. I mean, I agree with the government for once. It's a really good idea to ban the sales to uh, people under 18. But I also think they should have warnings on the cans. I also think they should not sell them at pe petrol stations around the country. Uh, because you see uh, people driving heavy lorries, going in, buying packs of four, yeah. getting all tanked up on these high-energy drinks. It makes people very, very aggressive, and they're highly addictive. Yeah. Well, how would you feel if you went into your kid's bedroom and you saw you found, like, piles of them, empty cans under their bed? I think I feel the same as you. I do think that it is almost like a gateway to something even worse, because what you're trying to do is either stay awake all night or keep yeah. being, be, have as much high energy and be as excitable as possible uh, in an un unnatural way. But I also feel that I'm of a generation, well, I don't even know if it's a generational thing or just the way I was brought up, but my parents would never let me have tea or coffee. Oh, it wasn't no. an option. Forbidden. It was for adults and it, yeah, completely yeah. forbidden. But the, the warnings on energy drinks weren't even around when I was growing up, so we yeah. just thought, oh, we'll have one of them then. And they yeah. actually were much sweeter, much tastier than tea or coffee. So them being so... so it's like a coffee pop, you know, like yeah. Alco pops, where they sweeten yeah. stuff. And so them being so don't... strict on us not having tea and coffee, which I don't yeah. think is as bad as energy drinks, made it just... just shifted us in the direction of those kind of... And, and, and all sorts of fizzy pop drinks that would give you that quick burst of energy. Mm. What gets my goat is, cos um, my younger daughter obviously is still at school and is quite sporty, um, a lot of the sports centres they go to, when they come out from playing whatever game, the vending machine has those drinks that have got the word sport yeah. Yeah. on the yeah. end. Yeah. And they all want that because... And they go, oh, yeah, no, look, no, 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 that's, yeah. that's good for us. It's got the word sport on. And really, it is just... Another sugary drink. And, you know, they keep saying you can't get addicted. Well, when Mark um, came out of rehab, well, it's taken, me, it's taken me 10 years to get him off his caffeinated drinks that he replaced it with. It. So anyone that says it is not addictive, I, I, I think for some people it definitely I is. I think there's he was on, drinks. He was on 10 to 15 cans. You know, for years and years, and it used to worry me so much. And of course, initially it was like, well, at least I'm not drinking alcohol. But you know, it, that can't be good for you, can yeah. it? Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. Because someone who's really close to me drinks four cans a day and says, "Well, I'm not drinking. This is really good." And I feel that uh, high energy drinks with high levels of sugar and caffeine are highly addictive. And I think the, they're as addictive as alcohol. And I think the government should tax them like alcohol and use that money and put it back into public health mm. services. Mm. Well, as I said earlier, Nick, uh, some health experts say that you shouldn't really let your child have caffeine until 18. I mean, what does that tell us? Tea mm. and coffee. You know, sometimes when you see these babies with bottles with tea on it, tea oh. in, it does make... I, li I limit with... my coffee intake, cos when I used to work in an office, you know what it's like, yeah. there's always somebody going, oh, I'm going to go and make a coffee, and you think, oh, I can't be bothered. So you go, yeah, I'll have one. So I'd be having, like, ten cups a day. Yeah. And actually now I've restricted myself, I have one cup of coffee. If I have two, I, I can actually... I get mm. palpitations. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The cafe. But, oh, you know what? We're at least also... tea, tea and coffee. Well, if you get it from its natural, you know, natural tea and uh, natural coffee, then they're 
natural forms of caffeine, whereas I would say that most of the energy drinks, energy drinks that are available are putting in stuff that isn't even natural. It's just made mm. in a factory somewhere. You don't also, know what it really contains. But what we need to teach our kids, when you're tired, have a bit more kip, have a healthy diet and drink a load of water. That's my far better for you. Uh, we did a poll. What age should children be allowed to drink coffee? 2% said under 5, 5% uh, 6 to 10, 40% 11 to 15 and 53% 16 plus.